Okay, we got a very special friend here, Vu. You've seen him before. I think he was one of my first guests at RC Review ever. And today he's going to show me a very special vehicle. Uh, Vanquish asked me to build one of their builder's kit. And I said, oh, Vu, get a project going. Let's see what you can do. It's a Endura hard body on top of a Vanquish portal uh, builder's kit. Yeah, and what's cool about the builder's kit is they said, okay, you know, instead of just having that body and those tires that not everyone wants, why don't we just give them the baseline so people can come up with their own builds, sometimes the uh, low CG or sometimes custom builds. And you went for a custom scale build, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's been a while for me to build something out of the box. So, you know, I just followed the instructions. Uh, the builder's kit was kind of cool. They had options of building something like SCX-10-2 base uh -huh. to like the new Phoenix VS-4, um, you know, no tires, no nothing, just yeah. basically the chassis and all, and you just get everything else yourself. Uh, it was cool. They did offer the titanium links. Oh, that's right. Um, what else did they have? That's right. They did have shocks. Sure. I did repurpose some of the things for another build I got going on uh -huh. that will come later. Um, but yeah, I, I used most of it here. And I wanted to do a scale build since Randy Ellis helped me out with my Cherokee with the base camp. That's right. Base camp. Yeah. My base camp's looking pretty base. Yeah. His base camp <laughs> is looking pimp. Yeah. So the Jeeps are something that, you know, it's available and they look cool. Okay. And I just wanted to give it a bit of my spin on it. Yeah. With a little help from Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis. We should, we should get him back on the channel. That's huh? right. Yeah. He just came from his house. They're working on a second build. I think they got so excited. Okay, so VS410, basic chassis. It's got some uh, new Vanquish tires. So we'll talk about that as well. And yeah. so you got to enjoy about it. How much is the body? This was like $75, $80 it's you know, with the shipping. Yeah. Um, it's insane. We were actually talking it. about it. And the body itself is pretty cool. The hardware that they use is kind of cheap. Yeah, a lot of Philips, um, right? A lot of Phillips, it's not the best, but it's workable. Um, I would say it's good for someone that is really into customizing and right. fabbing stuff. It's up. like a baseline, base camp. Mm -hmm. So from the front, we got some 3D printed bumpers that Randy uh, made for me. Uh, so Randy has a 3D printer now. Yeah. so He's going to be dangerous. He's not only does he fab, you know, <laughs> metal work and all that stuff. Now... He's in the 3D printing. Yeah. Um, so the, a lot of the stuff that he does build me is from ABS plastic. I don't know what entails what all the filament and all that. That's I let right. him do all that stuff. Starting from the front, I got that wrapped around these new uh, Vanquish Falcon Wild Peaks. Falcon Wild Peaks. Uh, along with some Vanquish, the Method wheels, rock rings. Um, underneath, I got the high links from Hardcore RCs running tracks those are titanium as well titanium right um i am running the traxxas big bores like on all my rigs uh mm -hmm. three brothers traxxas uh, big bore. so these are custom mm -hmm. custom uh, shocks and you mm -hmm. use low c mini t springs and low c mini t and, and they work really well check this out yeah. you know it, it's just like a slow Mm -hmm. uh damping yeah so really cross very so, well so this since it is a new rig for me and a new platform uh, i threw in i think it's 50 weight oil i used 10 mil spacers to bring the shock travel down yeah so 90 you turned it to 80 yeah okay and then um then i got some scale hardware rc4 wheel drive this net i got on top this is probably the most stoked i've been on this a, net is so cool yeah it's, gonna it's from be the envy of some all. company like S sor graphics uh -huh. rc something like that but yeah, it was I've really cool mm -hmm. it was a uh, just a nice little additive on top just to finish it off um then you got the sliders randy built for me as well um uh, same I with see. the rear bumper uh i got harrison ford and some other girl from blade runner, blade six, runner? seven the inch the new Blade Runner? Mm -hmm. The original Blade Runner. Uh, new one, I oh, believe. Oh, the new Blade Runner, yeah. right. right. Uh, cause I'm, I wanted to find normal looking people. Mm -hmm. So this is what I got so right. far. Um, then I'm trying to break up the inside with 
some cloth and then some scale stuff in the rear. Um, that's pretty much it for the outside, I believe. Okay, so why don't we, I'll show the people the rear. We'll have a lot of photos too, uh, but I want you to, if the doors open, show mm -hmm. me, show me, show me some of the door action. Okay. Pop, pop. I got a little license plate there. I got from uh, RC plates as well. RC plates. Yeah. You could uh, have your own yep, yep. personalized plates. Okay. And does the hood open? No, the okay. hood doesn't open. Okay. Uh, the main thing why I chose this body is also the interior, the dash, and I didn't have to touch nothing in there. Really, huh? All I had to do is grind away some stuff that needed so I can fit yeah, things underneath. Yeah, it's a deep interior. It looks really detailed. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of touches. 70, 75, something like that. And it comes with the interior? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. I just got an interior from my 2021 Bronco from CC Hand, 120 bucks. <laughs> Just yeah. for the interior, a hard body interior. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, tell me, tell us about the paint. What is the what is this paint, and is it painted from the outside? No, uh, so it's painted from the outside. I didn't have to paint it. It came like that too. What? Yeah. So for the price, I didn't have to. I just had to assemble the cage. Oh my god! And what the, a cool the fenders paint. and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like asphalt gray. Mm -hmm. I think it's called like uh, Norda Norda gray or something. Mm -hmm. If you uh, that's a tint, a hint of blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's probably like it's a about nine, nine pounds. Powder, nine yeah. pounder, fifty-one, forty-nine, something like that. That's what yeah. You said okay. So now he's got something special going on, which is the way the body mounts. Mm -hmm. Show us, my friend, so what's going on there. No body clips. No body clips. I showed my team the Red Cat Gen Nine. I said, check out the mounting option on the Red Cat, which has these swivel tabs. And the next day, Randy. <laughs> showed us a photo of this mounting tab with the with these swivels i'm like yeah. randy where'd you get the idea he goes he goes oh from your photo i go from my one photo yeah you were able to engineer <laughs> this yeah. whole thing yeah that's amazing but yeah underneath i got mounted here my my trick rc controller my trick rc is a fancy controller for lights one of the best value in lights uh, Neil and, and and all the guys use them. Yeah, I really like them. They're super bright. He made these sliders here, attached um, these servo brackets to. He was trying to even everything out instead of having it underneath the battery tray uh, here. Okay. He made me this other battery tray for back here. Where does the normal battery go? Usually go? goes across. Oh, horizontal. With a hard body, you're very limited onto where you could put your battery. You can't just ad hoc. It has to be designed in, because there's only so much space. To have a very deep interior and that's what what Wu has um very realistic but it limits your space everything has to be low profile yeah we've got the hobby wing the fusion pro oh fusion pro okay um the only thing i had to do in here was just shave down um one of the brackets here for the uh the upper link for the okay okay but it wasn't too much so yeah uh, people always ask me if the fusion pro will fit on the vanquish and you know not not box stock, but just a little dremeling mm -hmm. of uh, one of the plastic yeah. mounts, um, and you, it fits right in. Mm -hmm. And Fusion Pro, if you guys don't know, is a ESC and motor built into one, and it is super cool. Uh, used to be great, not too much power, but now they have a lot of power with a new version, 2300. Yeah, yeah ever KB. since I've used it in the base camp, it's going in all my rigs. It's going in yeah, all, all I yeah, really like it. It's simple. It's it's simple. It's programmable. Mm -hmm. And it's only 150. Mm -hmm. And really cool too. Now they have a $90 or they have like $60, a $70 and a $90 yeah. version of the Fusion Pro. Yeah, they're low budget friendly one. Low budget. Mm -hmm. uh, Rock Pirate RC, um, just like I use in the base camp. Uh, and uh, uh, shock mounts. Yeah, I really like these two. I got a little RC four wheel drive Winchy. It's um, mocked up right now. I need to get a little controller for that since mm. I only got a four channel radio. Four channel radio, yeah. So that's controlling all my uh, servos here um got a little scale hardware on the rims and the transmission here so look, look, <laughs> just a little something i, I was trying to yeah. trying to get scale up but dude scale is hard man, man. it's kind of hidden huh it's, it's hidden <laughs> sometimes i wonder if it's worth it but scale hardware yeah if you guys don't know what that is those are screws that that look like the real thing they're yeah. harder to work with but they look really cool yeah but yeah it's, it was a just a beautiful build out of the box that's right so um, yeah you, so spared no expense so your shifter does that show up in the yeah so on the top okay we, we'll, you know we yeah. did have to oh you drilled oh, it we had to open this up a so little bit this is cool it's not functional but it's it's mounted to the 
transmission mm -hmm. and it shows up on the beside the driver so super cool more options more more bites at the apple i mm -hmm. call it when you are uh, in the jam mm -hmm. you know you're looking for a move this will give you some moves yeah uh, the so. dig does and the the switchable overdrive yeah so this will be something new for me i don't i've never used dig and all that stuff but uh i'll find out so it's pretty cool 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 all right let's turn her on all right so let me select my gear here oh wow look at that modulation this is uh four-wheel drive yeah let me see okay and let me Rear, 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 rear wheel drive. You can do some drifting. Then uh -huh. the uh, other overdrive. Okay. Okay. This looks like overdrive. Uh, Six percent overdrive. Mm -hmm. And then change to overdrive. And right there. That's the. That's thirty-three percent yeah. overdrive. And I can tell how fast, how much faster. Yeah. The the car is um, is spinning. Oh oh. Oh man, look that's, at that. That's, look at that. Oh, messing up our table. All right, right. <laughs> I have used Vanquish products before in um, my comp rigs, right? I've used their F9 oh, Curry parts. Yeah, you've used, uh, used parts. Their AR45s, all, all the aluminum stuff. Mm -hmm. um, when I first seen it, I was like, no way am I going to buy something like this. This is way too much money. Yeah. Um, but with the introduction of the Phoenix, with the hard plastics, it's a very good entry price for anyone to come in. Uh, mm -hmm. The build quality is amazing. So, really? Yeah, I I was so amazed with it where I bought another one. Another one after this? I did. Oh, dang. So I had to hop on the Phoenix train, but I went straight axle. I'm going to get this one out on the rocks first and uh, see what happens. Right on. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Boo. No worries. It, uh, it is a beautiful machine. Thanks, and, man. And I, li I like the Vanquish journey. So that's all for our awesome Vanquish project. Stay tuned, and we promise to get this and our other scale rigs out on the trail for some great running video.